Hello, my name's Keith Perry and I'm the very proud principal of Canberra College here in outer eastern Melbourne in the suburb of Berwick. Our school caters for 1,600 plus students in 2020 with forecasts to grow to upwards of 1,800 students within the next two years. We're a very big and diverse school, which has a lot of advantages. Uh, we can cater for a lot of different passions and interests. We've got a very wide variety of programs uh, that students can pursue all the way through to year 12 uh, in either vocational education and training pathways, or of course, an outstanding VCE program for students who are wishing to pursue pathways uh, into university. Our school is very salt of the earth and our uh, motto is maximising the potential of every student and our ambition and our mission is to make sure that every student who walks through our gates uh, certainly receives the support that they need to maximise their own potential. Our most recent VCA results saw us ranked 48th out of 228 Victorian public schools based on median study score and 40 plus study score percentages. That placed us in the top 21% of Victorian public schools. We're the third highest performing public high school in this entire network, surpassed only by two other schools. And indeed, our results have ranked us higher than many of the other independent schools in this region. In 2019, we were fortunate to be able to open our uh, new Lady Years building. It's a three and a half million dollar uh, joint project with the Department of Education. Fantastic uh, new facility that supports our year 10 through to year 12 students. In our Lady Years pathways, uh, we're really proud to say that we have pathways and programs which support our students uh, to achieve their aspirations and their dreams and to succeed beyond year 12. So from year 10, our students can start to access pre-VCAL leading into year 11 and year 12 VCAL, which is the Victorian Certificate of Applied Learning. That provides vocational education and training opportunities for students uh, to help them to engage uh, in vocational pathways beyond year 12. At our school, we've invested really heavily over the last uh, five to six years in our VET courses, and we actually deliver a lot of them here on site so that students don't have to go uh, away to TAFEs, et cetera, to do them. So we deliver building construction. Uh, we have multiple classes of that running in our fantastic building and construction centre, uh, which we've just upgraded over the last 12 months. We also deliver VET uh, in plumbing industries uh, and we have many students who are engaged in that particular course as well and we've just upgraded that particular facility in the last 12 months. We also deliver vet hair and vet beauty uh, and we have a fantastic hair and beauty salon here at the school. Uh, students uh, practice their skills uh, on staff and uh, on even some parents sometimes as well. Uh, and we've had some fantastic uh, results through that program over the last few years. We also deliver vet uh, hospitality and kitchen operations and we have a lot of students who have gone on and become uh, chefs uh, in many restaurants across Melbourne. We also have vet uh, sport and recreation uh, and that is supplemented by a fantastic uh, fitness centre that we've decked out with about $40,000 worth of equipment in the last 12 months to cater for our students. So this is our fitness centre. Uh, this is uh, available for all of our athlete development program students from uh, year 7 through to year 12. Uh, they have a squad that meets every Wednesday morning as well. It's about 150 odd students in that program. They have access to a range of sports specialists, coaches, nutritionists, uh, sports psychologists, uh, and basically the intention is to make sure that these students uh, can pursue their athletic dreams. A really big focus in our school is student connectedness and we make sure that we put a lot of programs and opportunities in place for students to feel connected with one another and with the school. This includes things such as the School Athletic Carnival which is a massive highlight uh, on our annual calendar. We also make sure that we have a really extensive ca camps program and an excursions program so our students get out and about a lot. Uh, we have a Year 7 camp down to Forest Edge. Uh, where students go right down into the bush uh, in the wilderness and uh, form some good relationships that will last the test of time in high school. Uh, we also have other camps uh, going in year eights down to East Gippsland, year nine going into the city, year 10 to Central Australia. Uh, and we also then have a big one in year 12, which is their final study camp for the year. Student leadership, voice and agency is also a really big, important part of our school. We have a very vibrant and active student leadership team uh, and they are often running uh, events and in fact, they would often be running our uh, tours uh, for our parents uh, rather than doing this virtual tour. 
Uh, our students are really actively involved uh, across the school in decision making. We have a principal's advisory group and they meet with me regularly to discuss ways to improve things around the school. So it's a really authentic experience for them. Our VCAL program is also complemented by a fantastic VCE program. Our VCE students uh, achieve outstanding results, uh, which certainly are on par, if not exceeding many of the other local uh, schools. For those students who are wishing to pursue more academic pathways and potentially go on to university, uh, our VCE program is outstanding. Our teachers have worked really hard over the last few years to create a fantastic VCE program uh, that's supported by some really innovative teaching approaches and it's definitely producing the results. All year 7 to 12 students have access to a broad range of physical education and health activities and facilities at the school, including our fantastic new back oval. From year 7 students can also start to access a broad range of visual and performing arts. This includes access to our annual production, which is a really big highlight on the school calendar every year. Uh, and in the last two years it's engaged about 150 plus students uh, in our annual production. Students can also start to access our music development program from Year 7 uh, and this is a class uh, tailored for students who have a real passion for uh, musical uh, uh, performance and these students can start to access that academy from Year 7. It also includes one-to-one uh, -one tuition uh, in either individual or uh, potentially also small group tuition uh, once a week. So from Year 7, uh, our students are broken into what's called four vertical sub-schools that go from Year 7 through to Year 9. These four vertical sub-schools include uh, approximately two to three Year 7, two to three Year 8, two to three Year 9 home groups and they stick with that one sub-school and that one sub-school leader uh, for the duration of the Year 7 to 9 uh, program. The, the advantage of that is that it gives those students and those uh, uh, teachers and their sub-school leader and the families the opportunity to develop real connections over that uh, couple of years, which really supports the transition into high school. In addition to that, it also makes sure that students have got really good wraparound support around them. They're not having to get to know a new sub-school leader every year. They're not having to get to know a new group of students each year. And there's some really close relationships that start to develop. I would never pretend that our school uh, doesn't have any bullying or harassment and any school in Victoria that would tell you that it doesn't have any would be lying to you. However, I can give you assurances that we have the right facilities, the right supports, the right processes set up to deal with it really seriously and make sure that it doesn't continue if it ever does arise. To support that, we have a fantastic student health, wellbeing and engagement team who support students across the school right through from Year 7 to Year 12. Uh, and that includes a team of really dedicated counsellors uh, who support students at a one-to-one -one level and even at a group level. And also we have access to on-site psychologists for students. We have access to a general practitioner on-site as well. From Year 7, our students can access several languages. These include German and Japanese. We also have a very vibrant international student program and we currently have approximately 30 uh, students staying with us and completing their education from several countries across the world. We also have a very uh, strong sister school program. We have sister schools in Germany, Japan, China, East Timor, South Africa, and recently also a new one in Cambodia. For those students who are wishing to accelerate their learning, we have a select entry accelerated learning program from year seven. Students wishing to enter this program are required to go through a rigorous uh, entrance scheme, which includes an entrance test, as well as an interview and collaborative problem solving tasks. Students who are engaged in this program will be completing work at a much higher standard than their peers. We also have some re-engagement programs. In year seven, we have an accelerated learning program for students who need some additional support. We also have, in Year 9 in particular, two standout flagship programs, one called Year 9 Darabi, which is a boys only class for students who are feeling a bit disengaged and lost with school. And we also have an equivalent 
program in year nine for, as a girls only class, which is called GIRLS, which is an acronym for Growing Independent Resilient Learners. A really big focus of any school, of course, should be quality instruction in the classrooms. And it's certainly something that here at Canberra College we work very hard on. So we have an explicit model of instruction that guides our teaching. It includes setting clear learning goals, outlining the success criteria for students. What will they actually need to be able to say that they can do by the time they've met that learning goal at the end of the lesson? Visible learning, providing explicit instruction for students that's related to their learning goal. Differentiating the learning wherever possible for students differentiating the content for them, the process that they use to do it, or the product that they actually produce. And of course, a really important part of it is to make sure that at the end of the lesson, no student leaves without reviewing that they actually understand that learning goal and asking where to next. Supporting all that, we have a really strong focus on evidence and feedback cycles within the school, and all teachers and all students are expected to engage with that cycle. Thank you very much for joining us on this virtual tour of Canberra College. I hope you enjoyed the insights that you've had uh, into what our school looks like. Feel free to pick up the phone or to send us an email if you've got any further questions. And of course, our website has a lot more detailed information. Feel free to have a look on there too. If you do choose to enrol with us uh, here at Canberra College, we very much look forward to meeting you and your son or daughter and helping them to become the best they can be in the future. Cheers.